Hi, this is Craig Calvert. I have posted a few videos, I guess, on sharpening. Here's another one. This one's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to give you the instructions, and I'm going to give you an equation. And that equation, you are going to can copy and paste into Pixel Math, and you can sharpen your image. Now, this image of the Eastern Bill Nebula has been uh, prepped, as I've talked about before in other videos. Uh, stars removed, noise reduced, and stretched using histogram transformation. So here are the instructions. You start by opening Pixel Math, and then there's an equation that you're going to copy and paste into it, which I've already done. That equation uh, is posted in the description on this video. Now you're going to edit this equation. The first thing you're going to do is, the, where the word original is, you're going to change that to whatever the name of your file is that you're going to sharpen. In this case, it's uh, Veil. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is actually extract some wavelet layers um, before you can go any further with the equation. So let's do that. Go under uh, Scripts, Image Analysis, Extract Wavelet Layers, and we're going to extract four. You might not use all four, but um, you can use up to four, and that's uh, what we're going to do in this case. And um, we'll take a look at these in a second. And basically, the lower the number of the layer, the finer the scale, the less information in that layer, the less signal, and possibly the more noise. And you'll see this is like layer zero, zero. There's not a lot of information in that. Or information meaning what it, it sees or represents the actual image. You can see in this layer that you can actually see the image. So let's um, open up the instructions again. Then I'm going to demonstrate the sharpening using various combinations of these layers. The bottom line is, the coarser the layers that you use, the coarser the image that you're going to get in terms of sharpening. And, and you'll see that. So let's, uh, the first example I'm going to show you is where I'm only going to use one layer, layer 0, 0. Um, and in that case, on this equation, all four of the um, look places where you would could possibly change the value. You can see there's four layer zero zeros here. Just leave them because they're already read layer zero zeros. Okay, so I'm not going to edit any of them. I'm going to label it. Uh, make sure we understand it's layer. I'm going to call it layer zero 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 because that's what we're using, and that's all one layer. Um, and let it rip. And you're going to see that it sharpened just a bit because layer zero didn't have a lot of signal in it and it's also very fine. So it, it, the sharpening is going to be minimal, but you, I think you can see maybe it's a slight bit sharper. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. Now I'm going to use two layers, zero and one. And so again, we have four places to assign it, and we can assign it in any number of ways. We can go 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, or 0, 1, 1, 1. And depending on how many times you put that layer 0, 1 in there, it'll have a slight effect on the sharpening. It'll weight it a little. So let's just start with just making the last one 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I edited it. And then this one, I'm going to do three of them. So it'll read layer 0, layer 1, layer 1, and layer 1. And let's compare them. And you'll probably see only a slight difference. It's, uh, again, I weighted it with layer 1 um, in the second one, but it's, uh, it's not a big difference. You can see maybe a slight difference in the one on the right is slightly sharper. Okay, so that's with one layer. So I've used layer zero and layer one in that case. Now I'm in an, another layer, layer two. And then the more I add, the higher this number, the coarser it is going to be, the more sharp it's going to look. So uh, let's open the instructions and you see. So now I have layers of zero, one, and two. And I have combinations here, you know, zero, zero, one, two, zero, one, one, two, or zero, one, two, two. 
Um, and again, the more you weight one, the more influence it's going to have. So let's uh, let's go ahead. I think all I'm going to do in this case, so I have to change these, is just change the last one to two. So it's zero one one two, and uh, change it down here. So I'm using three layers, zero, one, and two. And it's going to look even coarser and sharper. And let's compare with the one we did prior, but with layers only layer one. This is with layer the one on the right is with layers one and two. Oh, zero, one, and two, actually. And you can see it's a bit sharper. And that's compared to the original. Okay, we can do it one more time. And this time, we're going to use layer 0, 1, 2, and 3. So if you open up the uh, instructions, or the uh, instructions here, you'll find that it says you're going to do, can do 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's the only combination you have, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change it to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. And I'll change the name of it as well, the output file, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and see what happens. And this one should be pretty coarse and, and definitely sharpened. And I think it's pretty obvious it is. I'll compare it with the last one again. So this has the, 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 the layers 0, 3 on the right. Um, the one left uh, had you know, only up to layer 0, 2. So it's even more sharp. And you compare it with the original, and it's quite a big difference. Quite a big difference. Okay, so now what do I do? Well, now I can do what I did in the other video. I can mix these things, so I don't have to settle for just one of these scales. Um, so I'm going to go 30% of the first one, uh, which had only layer 0. The 30% of the one with layer, also including layer 1. 30% of the one with layer, also including layer 2. And then only 10% of the one with, uh, also including layer 3. And let's see what happens. And there you go. So that's sort of a combination or a multi-scale layer. It's pretty easy. I mean, basically all you do is go into Pixel Math and edit it. Uh, if, I, if this was a script, it would probably be uh, fairly, really easy to, to, to use. I just don't know how to write scripts. Okay, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. I hope you use it. And thanks for watching the video.